Perfect. It's a once in a lifetime experience for so many people. The great American solar eclipse April 8th, 2024 has been underway and joining us right now is meteorologist Andrew Brightman, my colleague here on the pinpoint weather team, but he's not here in the Charlotte area. He joins us now from Dallas, Texas. Still looking up safely with those solar eclipse glasses as you were earlier today, Andrew, in the path of totality. <laughs> okay, so tell me, set the stage exactly where you are and just how that experience was for you. Terry, it was really just an unbelievable experience. We were, were just north and west of downtown Dallas. We're pretty close to uh, DFW Airport. And we had first contact about 1220 Central Time here. And it was building. I was here with my wife and my sister-in-law. We were outside here in the driveway. This is where I'm staying at my sister-in-law's house. And just even before we got to, to totality, it started to feel a little bit cooler. It started, it started off kind of hot and humid. And it gets a little cooler, more comfortable. But those last 90 seconds before you hit totality, well, a couple of things. First, we were dodging the cloud cover. I was almost having a mini panic attack here, worrying about cloud cover. That was going to basically ruin it. But once you hit totality, Tara, everything gets dark. It gets cooler. It's just an unbelievable experience just around looking up at the sun and the moon. But when you look up there, it's just a memorizing experience that is something that I'm just, it's going to stick with me for the rest of my life. There's almost no way to describe it unless you experience it yourself. Was this the first time? Did you see it back in 2017? I know you've got your family there too. Was this their first time? So it was my first time. It's the first time for my wife, my sister in law, and really for me too. Back in 2017, I went down to Myrtle Beach, but the thing was, I didn't get all the way to totality. I probably got to like 99.5% totality. It's actually embarrassing. I didn't go all the way to it. I could see it get dark just south of us. We could see some of the daytime thunderstorms. All of a sudden, we could see the lightning. And that was a cool experience. But experience at this time around, Tara, it's just a whole different level. Watching everything get dark, it immediately gets cooler, too. It's just, it's such a powerful experience. And you're just looking up at the coronas and then the little, the, almost the diamond ring when you first go into totality and right as you're coming out of it it is it's just su it's such a powerful experience and i'll be honest it makes me want to experience it again probably gonna have to travel to a different part of the world if i don't want to wait until 2045 for the next american solar eclipse but tara it is something that i cannot tell people enough you want to experience totality at least one time in your life that's right. We said uh, back in uh, again, looking ahead into the 2040s is the next one, but only visible that path of totality, I think, in three states, the Dakotas and yeah. then up through Montana. So a lot of people have to travel maybe a little farther for that.